Elder John Nicholson said he considered it the greatest privilege that could be enjoyed to be identified with the great work of the Lord, established in our day by revelation from heaven. The divine character of the work had been manifested to him personally by the Spirit of God, so that he was enabled to bear witness to its divine authenticity. The promise made in connection with the preaching of this gospel of the kingdom, that each obedient believer should receive an unerring individual witness of its truthfulness, was one of the characteristic features that strongly distinguished it from all other systems, claiming to be religious and saving. The speaker said that since he last had the pleasure of attending a general conference of the church, he had spent over two years on a mission to Great Britain, where he had rejoiced in proclaiming the gospel among the people of the world. While engaged in that labor, he had taken pleasure in observing the evidences of the development of the work of God in the progress of the exponents of its principles. He had labored in the ministry previous to coming to the gathering place and was then, nearly twenty years ago, acquainted with the condition of the elders. Comparison was largely in favor as a whole of those sent, now sent out. The young men, born and reared in the church, were, as a rule, manifesting much devotion, and fearlessly proclaimed the gospel among the people. The speaker bore testimony to the divine character of the mission of Joseph Smith, regarding whose claims to being a prophet there was more abundant and striking evidence than in the case of any other man laying claim to prophetic inspiration that he knew anything about. 